Well, hello everyone. My name is John Brenneman. I am the president here at Moda Vacations. Want to thank everybody for joining us today. Uh, a couple of things before we get started. Uh, we are taping uh, this webinar, uh, so we will upload it to the Moa Vacations YouTube channel. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll send everybody an email, which will include a link to this webinar. Uh, so if there's something you hear or see that you are interested in revisiting, uh, you'll have that opportunity. Um, everything that we're going to talk about today uh, is for MOA members and MOA member guests. Uh, these would be friends and family that you like to travel with. Uh, so if there's a trip or something that you hear uh, that you have friends and family that you think might be interested, uh, feel free to share the video with them, invite them to come along. Um, and everything we talk about today, um, as long as they're traveling with you as the MOA member, are amenities and benefits that they'll receive as well. Uh, in just a second, I'm going to turn it over to Gina. Gina is going to talk uh, about a couple of departures we have set up, uh, kind of give you an idea of what they do um, as far as vacations, both uh, land and uh, sea. I say sea, it's actually river. Um, and then um, after uh, she gets done with her presentation, um, both uh, Gina and I will be around to answer any questions uh, that anybody might have. So we'll get all your questions answered. Uh, there is, if you kind of scroll your mouse uh, across the bottom of your screen, you'll see a number of uh, little uh, options at the bottom, but you'll see one that says Q&A. Uh, at any point during uh, Gina's presentation, to have any questions, uh, feel free to go ahead and ask questions during the presentation. Uh, a lot of them I will answer uh, during the presentation, but some of them I'm sure will be of interest to everybody attending today. Uh, so even if I do answer them in the Q&A, I will bring them up again uh, at the end of the Q&A to make sure that uh, Gina has an opportunity to uh, share her insights as well. Uh, and then the last thing before we get started, I always just like to talk a little bit about MOA Vacations, who we are, uh, and kind of what makes us unique. Um, I always bring up the fact we are and continue to be the only travel agency uh, in the United States that offers travel on a satisfaction guaranteed basis. And by that, we mean if you have any issues, concerns, problems, um, anything that you want that uh, your uh, cruise consultant or your travel consultant can't uh, assist with, uh, let us know, uh, and we will get those resolved to your satisfaction. Uh, if you ever do have an issue or complaint, you will end up talking to either myself or MOA Vacation Vice President Mike Tyrell, because the two of us handle all of those to make sure that they're handled correctly. Uh, we do guarantee the lowest price. In fact, we go a little bit beyond that. We have a MOA exclusive amenity program. Uh, this is a program whereby there are additional uh, benefits, upgrades, uh, amenities, those types of things that are offered to people uh, in recognition of your past and your continued service. Um, Colette Vacations is one of our preferred partners, uh, and they do participate in this program. So on any Colette tour, and, and this is not just the ones that Gina is going to talk about today, but uh, I'm sure at some point she'll give you an idea of how many different tours, continents, ports or, or countries that they go to. So any of those tours or any of those river cruises um, that you were to get through uh, Colette Vacations, uh, because of your affiliation with MOA or your membership with MOA, you'll receive a $50 to $100 per person additional discount. So actually with Colette, while we sit there and say we have the best price guarantee with Colette, we are actually $50 to $100 less at least below the lowest price. Uh, and then we have uh, the opportunity to do groups, uh, which we're going to talk about a little bit today. A lot of members uh, think it really kind of enhances their enjoyment of the tour um, or the river cruise if they go with fellow members. In fact, we just had one of our signature groups get back, I guess it was a week ago exactly, because they got back on Friday, uh, where we did a tour of Iceland with Kola. We actually had two buses, phenomenal feedback uh, from everyone who went on that, uh, of just what a fantastic job, uh, the way that the tour was organized, the, the job that the tour guides did uh, of making sure that everybody just optimized their time to see as much as possible while still 
doing it at a pace that was enjoyable for everyone involved. So kudos to Gina. It's really the first time I've talked to Gina other than kind of preparing for this since Iceland. So I don't know if I'd shared that with her, but uh, rave reviews from everyone who went on Iceland. So um, Colette is the number one uh, tour uh, company of choice uh, for MOA members. And the reason is just exactly what I said, the phenomenal job that they do. So uh, not to belabor that point, uh, although I think it's important to know that your fellow MOA members are traveling with Colette uh, and are praising what a fantastic job they do because those third party endorsements are so important uh, in finding the right company to travel with. Anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Gina. Gina is going to talk to us uh, about Colette, uh, give us an example of some Colette departures. And as I said, I'm available to answer questions during the presentation. Uh, and then uh, Gina and I will answer them at the end. Uh, so feel free to drop them in the Q&A at any time. So Gina, tell us more. Right. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for the introduction. And I'm so glad to hear that Iceland uh, went splendidly for everybody. Um, that's very great news. Um, and I'm excited to tell you about a couple departures that we have. Um, to start off, I just want to tell you who I am. So I am Gina Caseco, and I am the business development manager for Canvas in Oklahoma. And I truly, truly love my job. I've just hit my one year here with Colette, but I've been in the industry for about seven years. And I've been lucky enough to turn my passion for travel into a career. And um, I'm really excited to tell you about some great, great group departures we have here today. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about who you're going to be traveling. So for those of you who have not been on a collect tour before, uh, we have every escorted tour value packed with experience and put a very heavy emphasis on our travelers and what they want. So majority of the touring and sightseeing is already going to be included in the upfront cost of your tour. So when you travel with us, you're not only going to have four-star accommodations, but you're also going to have a four-star experience with us. The convenience of having all of the logistics, the transportation accommodations included, um, allows you to really immerse yourself in the experience without any worries along the way. So I kind of like to, I like to call it thoughtless travel because you really don't have to wake up in the morning and wonder how you're going to get from place to place or how you're going to start your day. We're going to make sure that everything's taken care of for you so that you get the full experience when you're visiting a destination. And with that said, you're not gonna have to worry about your baggage handling. So if you see, um, when we go over some of these tours and you see us moving from place to place, the only thing that you're going to have to move is yourself. We're going to take care of all of your baggage. You're not gonna have to worry about lugging around that 50 pound bag. All you're gonna have to do is set it right outside of your hotel room. We'll take it to your next hotel and it'll show up at your room there. So you're just going to have to worry about yourself, which is really nice. So you can really get to explore the destination and not have to worry about anything. And with that, we really want to make sure that when you are there, we want to give you those local experiences um, and see those major sites, but also learning about the history from our professional tour managers and local experts. Because who is better to tell you that somebody that's from there and knows it and, and can really bring these sites to life for you. And with that said, we are known as having some of the best tour managers in the industry. And the reason with that being is because majority of them are employed by collect. So if you think about it, this is an escorted tour. So if you don't have somebody that's knowledgeable, personable and who really knows the destination inside and out and can bring that destination to life for you, it can really sour the tour. So we put a heavy, heavy emphasis on that for our folks uh, to make sure that our guests have the best experience um, when they are traveling. You know, you could stay at the greatest hotel, see the most beautiful things, but if you don't have the best tour manager, then that can really make or break the experience. 
So we really like to make sure that you're going to have that tour manager with you every step of the way to make that experience seamless for you. So a little bit about our product. So we know that tours can sometimes fall into a predictable routine and us at Colette are not fans of that. Um, we really want to make sure that you have those local experiences and be must be included and not as an option on tour where you're going to have to pull out your wallet and pay extra money to see those must be. So when we say enriching cultural experiences, we mean, um, you know, really getting to know the locals and going and enjoying local cuisine. And when we say accommodations, we don't just mean hotels, we mean villas, we mean castles. So with over 106 years of experience, we have really perfected what guided touring is today and have a wonderful team on the ground and the destinations that you're visiting to create a perfect itinerary to you, for you that allows you to get the most out of the destination. And when we say dinner, we also mean local restaurants. We don't want you just eating at the hotel the whole time. Um, but we also do like to leave a couple nights open for dinner. You know, as great as traveling with a group may be, we understand that a couple nights you may want to get away and have a personal night with your spouse or your travel partner um, and really kind of make that trip what you want it to be. So rather than it being overly structured, we try to find a healthy balance for you um, between touring and sightseeing and then with your time. So in a nutshell, that is who we are about at Colette. And one other thing that we do to create some peace of mind for you is you can relax and enjoy your trip starting right at your doorstep. So we take the hassle out of getting to the airport. You're not going to have to worry about, you know, parking at the airport. You know, if you think about a 10-day trip and $10 parking each day at the airport, that really adds up. And that's not money that you could be spending on tour. So we really like to start the experience right at your doorstep. Um, so you don't have to worry about any of that, as well as taking you home at the end. So that's a really nice little cherry on top that we make sure um, creates a seamless experience. For you. So any corner of the world that you are wanting to visit, we have a little bit of something for everyone. We've got over 160 tours on all seven continents. Um, so if, you know, these tours that I'm going to tell you about today are not a fit for you. No worries, we have plenty other ones. But the reason I am going to go over the ones that we have today is because they are just spectacular destinations. And we have handpicked these ones as we think they would be a great fit for you all um, and a wonderful experience. Um, so first, uh, just a reminder, if you weren't on our last webinar, we do have uh, the Holland and Belgium Springtime River Cruise, um, which will, we are actually sold out for the April 3rd date, but we have April 10th through the 18th still available. Um, so if you are interested in joining on that one, that offer of $50 off does apply on this. Um, so we do have some space there. Um, I highly encourage you to get signed up if that is something you're interested in or reach out to um, MOA Vacations to get more information on the tour. So just a few highlights of that tour that I just want to remind you of is um, one is exploring the 79 acres of the Kuchenhof Gardens in Netherlands. Um, and, you know, going in April, you're going to get to see all the bright blooms, all of the wonderful colors, and just a really once-in-a-lifetime experience um, to get to see these gardens and explore those grounds. And, and that's just, you know, one of the highlights of this trip, as well as seeing the signature windmill gardens of Pinderjack. So this uh, small village has still has the largest concentration of old windmills in Netherlands, where you'll actually even get to go inside one of the windmills and, you know, see how they used to communicate. And some of these are still operating today. And so we want to show you that experience while you're there. 
And then something we uh, wanted to make sure that was included and not an option on this tour for your group would be visiting the Arnhem Airborne Museum, where you're going to get to drive past all the landmarks of the Battle of World War I, known as Operation Market Garden. Before we continue on into the Airborne Museum, um, where you're going to see all of the recounted events of the battle, including weapons, uniforms, and documents. So just a really neat experience that we have specifically included for you all. So now I'm going to tell you about um, the two wonderful tours. The first one I'm going to tell you about um, is going to be our spotlight on French Riviera, which will be from May 2nd through the 10th. And then I'm going to tell you about one that we have in June for exploring Scandinavia. So in order for me to give you the best experience, I want to make, I'm going to turn off my camera so we can fully focus on the presentation itself and all of the beautiful pictures and exciting places I'm about to show you that are included on this tour. So um, if you are not familiar with the French Riviera, and this is on the French coast of the Mediterranean Sea and has all of the glitz and glamour rivaled by few places on earth. Our travelers really love the beauty of this region and all of the attractions that this tour offers, ranging from palaces to visiting a perfume factory to seeing all of the museums and art galleries, along with excellent cuisine and world-class shopping. This really does have a little bit of something for everybody. So when we say spotlight tours, that means that that is going to be one hotel the entire stay. So you're only going to have to unpack once. And this is a really great way to just see this destination as we hub and spoke from different places throughout the French Riviera um, and, you know, really getting to explore while only having to unpack once. Um, we also have a optional post-tour extension if you've got a little bit of extra time. Um, if you'd like to spend some time in Paris, we do have that optional extension for you. So that's just what the tour looks like at a glance, very easy. And um, where you'll see the orange, that means that that is an option. You don't have to do that. You can opt into it, but we have everything else that are must-sees included in the tour. So your tour is going to begin in the stunning city of Nice which is really a coastal pearl of the Mediterranean and is known for its legendary opulence and beautiful beaches, as you'll see in this photo. They have a average of 300, sun 300 sunny days per year, and it is truly just a seaside paradise. There's many elegant coastal resorts, wonderful eateries, cheap boutiques, and beautiful museums, making it a, the ultimate sunny retreat for the elite. So as we unpack our bags just once um, and get settled in to your hotel for the entire adventure, your hotel is going to be very con uh, conveniently located. It's only going to be a, a block from the Plaza Messina and about a 10 minute walk into Old Town. So you'll be able to find plenty of good restaurants, dessert stores, shopping very close by within walking distance. Um, and then that first evening, we're going to give you the opportunity to meet all of the people that you're traveling with on this journey, um, where we'll have a welcome dinner that first night and let you get rested that evening before our touring kicks off the next morning, where we're going to step in the shoes of a local and navigate the tram this morning. And this is a really a great time to get familiar with the routes so you can um, use it to your advantage during your free time and also get to know your tour manager and your fellow travelers. So with your local expert, uh, we're going to discover these by meandering through the city's 
themed and colorful flower market. Again, wonderful time, beautiful in May, everything's bloomed, it's warm, it's 50, you know, 50s to mid 60 degrees, wonderful walking around weather and exploring. Before we delve into Old Town, where we're going to sample some local delicacies while on a tasting tour. This town is, the Old Town is just very charming and it's one of the best things to do in these, just find your favorite cafe for the week and really soak into the local life. Or you may choose to return to your hotel and for that afternoon and stroll along the seafront of the promenade. Um, or you may even choose to stay downtown and visit one of the world-class art galleries um, or the Matisse Museum um, here and so much more to offer with beauty everywhere you look. So the next day, we're going to travel to the Principality of Monaco where a city tour is going to introduce you to uh, the Palace de Armas um, and the Cathedral of Monaco, which is the permanent resting place of Prince Rainier and Princess Grace Kelly. Then we are going to give you the choice of how you'd like to uh, spend your afternoon. So keep in mind, this is not um, options. These are both included in the upfront cost, whatever you want to do on um, one of these options, no extra cost out of your pocket. So if you choose to take the little train over to Monte Carlo and view the famous casino of Monte Carlo, um, you'll get to get to experience that luxurious resort um, and see that wonderful casino um, that the have called their home for the past 150 years. Or you can visit the museum, cruising its aquarium and collection of fossils and skeletons amassed by the great uh, researcher Cousteau. So um, this is built on an oceanside cliff in Monaco. And once again, great views. And if you're into history, this um, may be the one for you to visit. As there's lots of history included uh, about Prince Albert and... Um, the Prince of Monaco and the history there. Next, we're going to uh, visit Grasse, which is going to be considered the world's capital of perfume. Here, we're going to tour the facility and learn the secrets of perfume making during a hands-on workshop where we'll tour and see how the fragrant formulations have been prepared since the 1700s, while also visiting the historic factory as we thread their way through the perfumer's laboratory, um, seeing the perfume organ, the distillery, and the filtering studios, um, and the packaging and soap making workshops, uh, followed by a visit um, at the end to do some shopping of your own and find the perfect scent for you. And then that afternoon, um, as I said at the beginning, we really want to give you that balance approach, not too much, take up too much of your time, but we're going to give you uh, the afternoon um, to spend it soaking up the atmosphere of this charming town before we return to Nice for an evening at leisure. And if you don't mind giving up a few um, minutes of that free time, we do have a um, option on this tour um, where you can go to a pun talk lesson and tournament, uh, which will include an open bar and some tasty snacks um, where you feel like a local and try your hand at this new beloved game in the south of France. Um, so that's something if you'd like to opt into that and get up some of that free time, or you may choose to just have the night on your own um, with your travel partner. So however you want to spend the evening, you do have options here. Next morning, we are going to journey to Cannes and rub elbows with Europe's elite here as we soak in the sunshine and breathe in all the salty ocean air. 
in this festival off season, the town is much more peaceful um, than having that busboy crowd. So you'll really get to explore here, um, as well as walking in the footsteps of the celebrities where you can see the film Festival Palace um, and the iconic red carpet uh, that is featured during the Cannes Film Festival, um, which you probably see um, on the news uh, throughout the year or once a year, um, which features a wide selection of cinema, short films, and international favorites. Then we're going to give you some free time to explore those cobbled lanes of the wonderful uh, neighborhoods and villages and exploring the Corville Farmer's Market here. Then we're going to sail across the Bay of Pan to the tiny island of St. Courant, uh, a fortified monastery active since the Dark Ages. Um, and we will then pause for lunch on the island um, for some more beautiful views before we return back to Nice in the late afternoon. Then we're going to head over to St. John Papara, where is also referred to the crown jewel of the French Riviera. Once again, beautiful views of the cliffs and blue, blue waters and charming little towns here. Then we're going to visit the impressive villa of Ufrathi de Rothschild. Um, this is located on French Riviera and is a real hidden gem that really deserves to be better known, in my opinion. Um, the unique location here overlooks the Mediterranean Sea from every side that you look at um, and is really worth a visit, as you see, for this rose-colored villa for the view below. Um, this is a really highlight of the trip and really get to see the unspoiled parts of this coast and also one of the most exclusive. So the villa here has nine unique gardens that surrounds it um, where they each have a different theme. So you'll get to uncover the lush gardens and see once again, the jaw dropping views of the Med Mediterranean Sea and everything is going to be um, beautifully bright and wonderful uh, weather during this time. So everything's going to be blooming and just absolutely breathtaking. Then your visit to the villa is going to be completed with a lunch served in a charming tea room as you overlook the Bay of Villa France. Then as we head back to Nice, uh, we want to give you some free time to relax and take in the laid back atmosphere along the Riviera. Uh, where you can stroll along the lively seafront or set in search of the uh, architecture of St. Nicholas Cathedral. Next morning, we're going to venture out to historic uh, St. Paul's events, uh, which is situated atop a hill overlooking the beautiful countryside of Providence. This walled medieval village is full of traditional buildings, many hidden alleyways, incredible restaurants, and several specialty shops. So great time to grab some souvenirs to bring home um, and really just get, it, get to explore and soak in all the beauty it has to offer before we have a farewell dinner that evening where we celebrate the end of a unforgettable trip on the French River. So we will depart home that day with wonderful memories of your journey through the French Riviera, which as you'll see, home to pretty towns and villages with its vibrant cultural scene um, and really just something to offer for every type of traveler. So this is a wonderful tour um, and if you do have a little bit extra time and want to let your adventure continue, um, you can choose to opt into an optional three night post tour to Paris, where we'll fly you over to Paris 
see the city of light um, and do some exploring there where you'll have, it'll be more of a hosted experience where you'll have a local guide meet up with you and take you um, exploring, seeing, um, and getting to really know the locals here. Um, we'll also take you on a relaxing sightseeing cruise um, along the Seine um, where the Eiffel Tower just sparkles at night. It's absolutely wonderful. So this tour is once again, May 2nd through the 10th, and we're looking at $39.49 per person, double occupancy rate. Uh, so if you are interested in signing up for this tour, please contact uh, Moa Vacations, let John know, and we will make sure to um, get you signed up on this tour. So the next tour I am going to tell you about is going to be Spectacular Scandinavian. So this is going to be a 14-day trip offering 20 meals for you and will be offered in June 15th through the 28th of 2024, um, where we're really going to get, get to explore the Nordic region um, and discover the land where the Vikings reigned here. So on this tour, um, we're going to visit Sweden, Denmark, and Norway and explore all the natural beauty and unique cultural uh, traditions that make this area of the world so unique. So the temperatures here um, are going to, once again, average 52 to 58 degrees. Um, so very comfortable weather. Everything is going to be bright and beautiful and warm. Um, as we explore the epic natural landscapes in this world. So just tour at a glance here, we're going to start this tour off in the country of Denmark, uh, where we fly into Copenhagen. Um, so on your overnight flight, then we arrive in Copenhagen before we head over to Sweden. And then we finish off our journey in the Norway region. And then once again, if you weren't able to join on the Iceland trip that uh, just ended, um, we do have an optional extension for you here um, to extend your trip to Iceland. Or you may just want to go back again because it was so wonderful. So um, we do have that option for you here so you can get to see all of Scandinavia. So your tour opens in the beautiful city of Copenhagen which is considered to be one of the happiest places in the world. Their culture is just so unique here. You know, in America, we are known for, you know, living to work and not having, you know, a lot of balanced free time. Here, they don't really live that way. They um, really kind of have a relaxed lifestyle and really don't spend all of their time working. Um, and getting to know each other and so you're really going to get to experience um, the locals and what the unique culture has to offer here. So we're going to give you some time to venture out on your own and come to know this cosmopolitan capital dubbed as the gastro capital of Scandinavia. Uh, the foodie culture here is really on the rise in Copenhagen, um, making the city that blends modern ap appetites with age-old history. So the city is actually home to 15 Michelin star restaurants. So if you are a foodie, this is a spectacular way to kick off your trip here um, seeing Scandinavia. So that evening, we're going to officially gather as a group. We're going to meet all of your fellow travelers during a local dining experience where we're going to highlight all the new Nordic cuisine movement of Copenhagen. And once again, your hotel here is in a, a lovely modern hotel, great location just across the road from the water with easy access to bus, train routes, and not far from anything. So day three is going to be the official start of your tour where we're going to have a local expert join in for an engaging walking tour. 
planned. Uh, keep in mind, Copenhagen uh, being very flat and built around waterways uh, and with a compact downtown area, it's a very, very walkable city. Um, so you're going to get to pass by the Royal Danish Theater, see the Tivoli Gardens, and of course the Enchanting Castles with your local expert here. Then you're going to get to explore New Hound, um, whose Danish name means New Harbor. This picturesque harbor is lined with colorful facades and charming cafes and has really become a symbol of recognition for the city and exhibit for its uh, quaint seaside charm. Then uh, this is a great time to utilize your tour manager as they'll have countless suggestions for you of how to spend your time, but we want to give you some free time to get to know the city and really make the experience you want it to be before we um, leave the city life behind and head north to meet the Haje family on their organic farm. Um, they've welcomed us into their farm where we get to learn about the work uh, conserving the ancient grains and the old Danish livestock breeds um, before you get to enjoy some homemade treats and really get to uh, see the day-to-day -day life here of how the locals live at a family farm. Then we're going to continue on to Helsinger, um, which is home to the Kron uh, Kronborg Castles and is a charming coastal town on the eastern coast of Zealand. Um, which is known as the largest island in Denmark, where we're going to board a local ferry for a short ride across the uh, famous Orsund to over to Sweden. So this afternoon, uh, we arrive in Vaxjo, which is locally known as the greenest city in Europe. They've won many, many awards. Um, for their carbon footprint and all of the things they've moved forward and done um, to make this place um, live and very hip place to be today. Um, and, you know, combined with the culture and the history here, just very innovative place to see. Next morning, we're going to uh, travel over to Rana. So Grana is a town that is situated on the shores of Lake Vatter. It's famous for its charming wooden houses, cobblestone streets, and delectable candy shops. And it's considered to be the birthplace of candy canes. Then we continue on to North Stockholm, um, which is not only the capital of Sweden, um, but has the highest population in all of Scandinavia, um, known for its innovation and tech startups here, uh, rivaling the companies of Silicon Valley here in Capitol. Tonight, we'll enjoy a twist on modern dishes from Swedish and European cuisine at a local restaurant, um, talking about the journey that you've had so far with all of your fellow travelers um, getting to see just the two countries you've seen and how how great of a time you've had before we head on to see Norway. And uh, next morning, we're going to view Stockholm's greatest vistas and attractions. Um, we will get to see the Royal Palace, the Parliament, and the Ritterholm Church, um, as well as exploring the Old Town here which is located on an island in the center, city uh, center um, and get to see um, what this cute little island is all about. And this afternoon, once again, no extra cost out of your pocket. This is your choice whether you choose to uh, visit the Vasa Ship Museum or if you're a music lover, visiting the Abba Museum. Um, if you choose to do the ship museum, you'll get to learn about the vessel's uh, maiden voyage and when it sank in the single nautical mile um, and get to see the perfectly preserved ship. Um, or you may choose to go to the Apple Museum, um, which is going to be an interactive 
exhibition that gives kind of an in-depth and interactive look at the Swedish pop sensation here. Um, and really getting get to see um, the production side of music here and get a greater understanding of all of the behind the scene work that goes into being a successful band. The remainder of the day is going to be yours to explore Stockholm independently, um, getting to discover the strikingly colorful architecture and sampling some of the innovative cuisine. Um, maybe going to try some of their famous Swedish meatballs. I'm sure your tour manager will provide you some of those local hidden gems um, to do some exploring and some of those things you just have to see here. Um, before we head on to Norway. So next morning after breakfast, we're gonna take a quick flight over to Oslo. This is only about an hour flight, very easy um, and quickest way to get there so we can really give you um, the most of your time and the destination and get to see one of Europe's fastest growing cities. Um, which is nestled between the Oslo Fjord and the Forest of Hills. So starting in the capital uh, since 1814, Oslo is the center of the Norwegian government and of course home to the royal family. And is also known as an up and coming city destination, combining those classic tastes with modern twists um, where you're going to find a vibrant cosmopolitan club with an abundance of world-class museums, restaurants, and art. Um, and that evening, we are going to enjoy a traditional Norwegian fair in one of Oslo's oldest buildings. Day eight, uh, a tour of Oslo is going to begin at the Remarkable Frog Museum, which is dedicated to telling the story of the Norwegian polar exploration, where you'll uncover the history of the ship Fram, uh, which went on many Arctic explorations in the late 1800s. Then we'll venture on down to Carl Johan Street, passing by the iconic buildings such as the Royal Palace, City Hall, um, which is going to take us right into the charming heart of downtown Oslo. And then we'll make our way to Vigalon Park, where um, this is home to a collection of statues and sculptures that the legendary artist uh, Vigalon constructed during his life. Um, so you're going to get to see the features of over 200 sculptures and admire these pieces as you meet and are along the beautiful gardens. Later that afternoon, we're going to give you some time uh, once again to relax and explore Oslo independently and really just make this trip what you want to be. Next morning, we're gonna wake up, have breakfast before we head north of Norway's capital. So we enter the majestic and unique landscapes of the Fjord region, which was carved as a token of the Ice Age, take on the Eskimo hills and mountains, and just so much beauty as you're gonna see throughout these next couple slides, all the beauty that, you know, you just don't even realize is there. It's absolutely spectacular. So we're going to start with a visit to the Borgon Salve Church, which is a inspiring building dedicated in honor of the Apostle Andrew. And it is one of the most popular um, churches in times of the Middle Ages. So lots of history here to uncover with the beauty surrounding. Then we're going to arrive in the quaint village of Plom, which is uh, nestled at the entrance to the stunning Orlum Fjord, where you're going to soak in the encompassing nature around you because this small village is home to less than 500 people. So really, really diving deep into those local experiences and seeing how um, they, the locals live here. 
Next, we're going to um, get on the renowned Plump Rail Railway, which has been called one of the most beautiful railways in the world. And once you ride it, you're really going to understand why. Um, the, tr the scenery, the train passes is absolutely stunning and unique and, of course, very steep. Um, it's one of the steepest train rides in the world where you'll climb 3,000 feet past brushy waterfalls, looming mountains, and, of course, picturesque valleys. And we're going to journey to the mountain plateau of Myrtle and cascade down the fjord of Flam as we once again take in all of the breathtaking views each way, everywhere you look. So now we arrive at your destination here, where we'll have a relaxing stay in Lowen, which is a very welcoming village situated right in the heart of Norway's fjord region. Um, and is, this village is tucked away in the inner part of this region and offers some of the most magnificent landscapes in Norway with beautifully fjords, these dazzling turquoise lakes, waterfalls, glaciers, and steep mountains. Next day, we're going to spend the day enchanting by the inspired landscape of the fjord region of Norway. Um, as we are in Granger, uh, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, we're going to embark on a exhilarating uh, fjord cruise where you'll get to soak in some more of uh, Norway's most beautiful scenery along the way. Along the way, you'll get to see uh, what is known to be one of the most famous fjords in the world, uh, the Granger Fjord. Uh, where you'll find Norway's mightiest waterfalls, known as the Seven Sisters, the Bridal Veil, and the Suter. And be sure to um, open your ears for this as your tour manager is going to give you all of the fun myths and history that's involved in, in the naming of these mountains and waterfalls. So uh, along the way, just getting to marble up all the homesteads built along the steep sides of the mountains where farmlands have endured for centuries. So just a blend and a mix of everything um, that it all has to offer uh, along these beautiful views. And now we are on day 12, where we're seeing Norway's impressive landscapes continue to weave their spell on you as you travel through Bergen, which is uh, the portal from the fjords and is uh, the second largest city in Norway and retains its small town charm and very welcoming atmosphere. Uh, it's really a cultural hub here with outstanding museums, galleries, and historical areas and home to many of Norway's special events. Um, so that first night, we're gonna kind of give you some free time to explore and um, get to know the local cuisine here and the beautiful charming village. Next morning, we're gonna join your fellow travelers once again, where we will go on a guided walking tour of Bergen. Um, and really get to see what Bergen is today. Um, you know, it's very charming, old world and scenic, and it's much, much different from when it was founded by the legendary Viking warriors past. Um, so today the international city is really rich in history, history and tradition and is a designated world heritage city and also a cruise port. We'll stroll along the historic and iconic harbor front known as the Bregen, um, and is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, um, where you'll see some of Bergen's very first buildings that were built along the harbor of Bregen and have been have since become the center of Bergen. Then we want to give you some time to explore on your own. That afternoon, before we re reunite with your fellow travelers for a farewell dinner in the historic Brigham neighborhood, um, where you'll get to um, explore their local cuisine. 
here um, before we depart for home with all of the incredible memories of your Scandinavian journey here. So as you'll recall from the ultra hip cities full of sleek design and world-class restaurants um, to the back to basics cabin living in some of the most epic natural landscapes in the world, this tour really does have a blend, a uh, perfect blend for art lovers, foodies, history, and of course, surrounding beauty. So um, this, does, this tour also does have a little bit for everybody, um, which are the tours that we definitely like to highlight, um, but, you know, are, it gives, gives a little something for everybody, whether you're an art lover or a food lover or history lover or um, nature lover. You, we've got something for everybody here. And then we also have um, the option to extend, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, um, if you want to let your adventure continue, um, we do have the optional post-tour extension to Iceland, which would be a hosted experience um, where we'll include your over, overnight accommodations, um, daily breakfast, and your transfers um, to see all of the beauty life. So this tour, um, once again, June 15th through the 28th, um, we're looking at $54.99 per person at the double occupancy rate. And with the $50, uh, $50 off MOA offer that we have for you as well. So keep in mind, not just these tours, it is all of our tours. So if you um, may not find these two tours a fit for you, we have something for everybody. So this offer is included for every one of our tours, 160 and also, right? So Moa is a top leading um, expert in leisure travel, and we are really honored to play a part. So thank you again, John, for your loyalty and your partnership. And we hope you can join us on some of these tours. But now um, I would like to open up for questions if you have any specific questions on any of these tours or just who we are at Colette. Fantastic, Gina. Uh, a, a few things uh, we, we had, we'd have a question uh, during your presentation. There's just a couple of things I wanted to talk about as, as we kind of come to this final screen and you see our telephone number and our email address. So as Gina said, they go to 100, and, they have 160 different uh, tours available. And I, I think today uh, we did a great job of kind of showing the, the, the options that you have. You have the cruise, you have the spotlight tour, which is basically uh, the, the unpack once and you stay at that central city and then you go sightseeing from there. Of course, that kind of limits what you could see because you can only go so far. And then, of course, they have the classic option, I guess, which was the last one we looked at, which was literally going and seeing multiple countries, um, staying in multiple cities. They do kind of have a fourth option. Uh, it is smaller group travel, but basically the, the three main, which is basically just the classic on a smaller kind of sale, which I know a lot of people like. But what, what we kind of need you to do is you kind of need to figure where you want to go and when you want to go, and then how you want to go. Do you want to cruise? Do you want a spotlight tour? If that's a possibility, granted, it's not available for all. You know, you, you, you can't see a lot of different countries from one central city. Or if you're looking for, you know, a classic escorted tour. And if so, would you prefer to go with a smaller group if that's an option? And then give us a call or drop us an email and kind of let the agent do all of the groundwork based upon where you want to go, when you want to go, and how you want to travel. And they'll come back to you with options and say, here's what you can do and, and help you find that perfect tour for you. Be it a group of your fellow MOA members or not. And we have other groups that we have set up. Tomorrow when I send everybody, as a reminder, we're going to send everybody a copy of this um, webinar tomorrow so you can review it. Uh, we'll include a link in that email that will take you to a page that will show you all the different uh, tours we have set up. But once again, um, you can either go with a group, which I know will add enjoyment to your trip, 
But if we don't have a group growing when you want to go or where you want to go, or I guess how you want to go, um, that's where you bring in your MOA vacations consultant and they will help you find that perfect uh, vacation for you. I didn't think I had any other notes that I wanted to bring up. Oh, uh, the Tulip Tour. I, I know that uh, Gina didn't spend a lot of time on that. We actually talked more about that on the last webinar. Um, but those uh, Tulip Times and cruises are phenomenal. The beauty that you will see from the ship or when you're off the ship is unbelievable uh, when you go through Holland and Tulip. So certainly something to keep in mind. As Gina said, we've only got one date left on that. When, since those cruises go while the tulips are in bloom, which is when you want to go, so you see those amazing, colorful uh, sides, you have to go kind of in that April, May time frame. Um, so it's really kind of your last chance to go this year. Uh, so if that's something you've been meaning to do, uh, definitely get a hold of us right away because um, that's the one of the three groups we looked at. That's the one that if you want to go on it, you really need to act right away. And by right away, I mean like today or tomorrow um, because there's just not that much space left on that ship. Uh, and we'd love to get you on if you'd like to go. So with that being said, we did have one question about air, which brings me back to one other thing I want to talk about. If, if you've heard me do a webinar with Colab before, I always like to highlight their door-to-door -door service, which are their sedan service. Um, and somebody asked about air. And so all of the groups that we looked at today do not include air. And we typically don't include air when we are doing MOA presentations because MOA members live from coast to coast. Uh, so there's a great variance in the air and actually probably a bigger issue than where people live is the size of the airport. Um, so the, the, you know, L.A. may be all the way on the West Coast, but that's typically going to be a less expensive uh, airport than, say, something like Cheyenne, Wycombe, Wy Cheyenne, Wyoming, that is going to be a smaller kind of regional kind of hub. Um, so air is not included, but. If you include Colette's Air, then they offer for free door-to-door -door service. Uh, as Gina said, they actually, now you have to live within 50 miles of the airport. Um, most people do. Um, if it's outside of that, I think it's up to 75. They still offer the service for a slight fee. But So the way it really works is after you uh, book the cruise, you get your flights, you actually get an 800 number and you call up the company and you schedule when you want to be picked up where you want to be picked up, and the same thing when at the end of your trip, where you want to be dropped off. And it's just such a great way to start out your trip, you know, to have that uh, sedan pull up in front of your house. He grabs your bags, throws them in the trunk, you know, and literally it's almost like your vacation starts when you walk out your front door um, because that's when um, the pampering, for lack of a better word, begins. Uh, so that kind of answers the air question. We are kind of right at the end of our hour. Um, we don't have any questions. So um, you have the 800 number, you have the email address. Give us a call, drop us an email, let us know where you want to go, when you want to go, and how you want to get there. And we will find that perfect tour or cruise for you. Um, I want to, on behalf of everyone at MOA, everyone at MOA Vacations, everyone who attended today, Thank Gina once again for taking time out of her busy schedule. Uh, the two of us put this together. We did all the practice. We did the setup, all that other kind of stuff. So it's more than just an hour out of Gina's day to do this. So, and, you know, she mentioned that she has Kansas and Missouri, uh, Kansas and Iowa, right? Oklahoma. Kansas and Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> the key would be is MOA Vacations is based in Kansas. So Gina helps all MOA members wherever they live across the country um, because she works with us and we work with you. So anyway, but she has uh, a lot of agencies to work with. And so uh, we really appreciate her taking uh, all this time out of her busy schedule. And so Gina, I'm going to turn it over to you for the final word. Yes, and I just want to say thank you once again for your partnership. We really appreciate all of your loyalty, and there is the reason that we partner with you all, as we know that you guys take wonderful care of our travelers, and we'll make sure that they have the perfect fit for their destination. Uh, with that said, um, you had mentioned the explorations line. Um, on our November webinar, we will be highlighting a few of our exploration products. 
um, but I want to leave that to surprise because they're really, really exciting tours. Um, and I'll tell you all about those in November. So thank you all for joining today and for having me, John. I love the preview of our next webinar. Well done <laughs> indeed. Everyone, have a wonderful remainder of your day. Have a great weekend, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye, everyone. Thank you.